All right, case 10. Case 10 had um, cardiovascular inflammation at low power, but also these like very eosinophilic areas. Mm -hmm. And when you zoom in, there are a ton of EOs in here. And there are these like bright eosinophilic deposits in one of the collagen bundles. Yeah. Which is like the flame figures. Yes. Um, well, not like 100% specific to wells. That's like well syndrome is the first thing that comes uh -huh. to mind. But if there was vasculitis, you had turned strout or yep. depending on the clinical, like eosinophilic annular erythema, which we've seen recently. Uh -huh. Yeah, I think that's a great that's a great uh, differential. The key here, of course, is the flame figure. And look, even from like even on this scan from like 0.5x, you can see them, right? They're these bright pink purple or orange purple blobs, right, in the dermis. And you can see that the degenerated collagen sometimes seems to almost float like in the middle of them. And so when you have numerous eosinophils, they begin to degranulate. The collagen kind of dies and gets coated in the granules. We can't really see the granules here on this scan, um, as well as you can see on, on again, when you can flip a condenser on a light microscope. But yeah, this all this bright flame stuff is eosinophil granules coating the uh, dead and dying collagen bundles. So I feel like anytime you see a ton of EOs, start looking and see if you can find some flame figures. And then, yes, there are some lymphocytes around the vessels. Also, the, the dermis is very edematous. Look at how pale that papillary dermis is. You can see here, actually, the papillary dermis is beginning to almost fall apart and kind of lift up and make almost like a kind of a edema type of blister um, overlying it. And so that's how this is, like you said, Wells syndrome. And Wells syndrome, also known as eosinophilic cellulitis, is kind of a debatable entity about what exactly it is. The way I was taught, and I think kind of makes sense, is that basically this is like a really exuberant dermal hypersensitivity reaction in which we can't identify why the patient, what the patient is having a reaction to. So it basically is like you've ruled out bug bite, you've ruled out drug eruption, and so it's idiopathic, robust a dermal hypersensitivity reaction classically with flame figures. Okay, so, so it does require clinical workup to exclude other things. I've seen great flame figures in bug bites, really good ones. And also, like you said, there's this entity, um, erythema, or sorry, um, eosinophilic annular erythema, EAE, which some people think is kind of an annular ring-shaped clinical presentation of Wells syndrome. And other people think it's different because, you know, that's that's the thing is we like to argue about stuff. And then, um, yes, you can see some similarities of flame figure-ish type things in uh, Churg-Strauss sometimes. So this is a really nice example of Wells syndrome and flame figures. And, um, oh yeah, and I said bug bite, and I felt like there was something else I was going to tell you, but no, I guess not.